The Brain Bus is a mobile exhibition about the functions and disorders of the brain. Through interactive experiments, the public finds out more about this organ, which is not completely understood yet. Uh, we started uh, with the idea a few years ago. It was during Brain Awareness Week, which is taking place every year in March. And it's mostly taking place uh, in cities, in university cities, where we have conferences, uh, public forums, exhibits. So the people coming to this Brain Awareness Week are mostly people from the city. And uh, it doesn't go really further out. So we had the idea that a bus would be nice uh, to have to go a little bit further out. Many people visiting the bus ask about depression. The exhibition explains that depression may sometimes be caused by a brain problem. We think it's very important that people know that uh, many uh, illnesses are brain illnesses. In uh, psychology, in uh, psychiatry, you don't always know how the brain functions. You have medication, but uh, they came out of serendipity and uh, they are not directly related to the functioning uh, of the brain. In this experiment, the person must trace a shape inside a box only by looking at its reflection in the mirror. This is how it feels for a stroke victim to relearn basic things, like writing, for example. Sometimes you, you want to go on once. You have to be really very concentrated very concentrate, yeah. to do that, and uh, you cannot really talk at the same time. Do you think this shape is easy to reproduce? This is a mind-bending trick. Hundreds of people have tried this in the last couple of months. This boy here is only the second person to solve it, and luckily the camera was filming. The trick is really uh, first to think uh, in a plan like this. So by making the first window like this, it's easier. Or well, this is the way, the simple way to do it. And then you need only one more cut here in the middle. And then, did I do it right? You will just have to reverse one side. The previous test was about visual perception. This one is about the sense of smell. Mint. Human evolution has favored sight over smell, so recognizing a smell can be a real challenge. Yeah, I, I know what this one, I, I know what it is, I just can't, I mean, I can tell that, I, that I've smelled it before, I just can't put my finger on it. Inside the bus, kids learn more about the brain. There's only five different types of taste, so, but they, and they're each got parts on the tongue, so in, but the proportions of each type of taste change to give us loads of different tastes. There are a lot of things that, math things, where it would be a math problem, but there was some trick to finding it, and we sort of had to find the trick, and for some of them I found the trick, and for some of them I didn't. Mm -hmm. Are you good at uh, science or math? Um, well, we have four options, and I chose the math and physics option. Me too. The only girl in my class who chose it, so. The girl's got brains, but she doesn't want to use them to become a scientist. She wants to become a fashion designer. But who knows, other budding neuroscientists may have been through the exhibition today and seen their first real preserved brain. Ça,